Yeah, that's what I had. Harvey. All right, a couple things. Uh, a week from today, we broadcast live from the Hard Rock Cafe for St. Patty's Day. That's right. Different time for the show, though. We're doing 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. East Coast time. Yeah, we did it uh, last year during our regular show time, and boy, when people start drinking at like 7 in the morning, it got real ugly. So this time, it's uh, prime drinking time. And my brother's got a shirt. Of course he's got a shirt. Shirt for every occasion. Every occasion, and uh, if you're not going to the Hard Rock Cafe, you can get the shirts by going to MyRadioStore.com. Mm -hmm. MyRadioStore.com for Brother Elmo's <laughs> St. Patty's Day t-shirts. Right. Got to say hi to Greg uh, Giraldo in studio. What's, What's up, Greg? Up? What's up, fellas? Greg's back in. He's like, it's yeah. a, little, a little mellower uh, today than last time I was here. It was insane asylum last time. Yeah, because we had Twitchells uh, jumping around and stuff. Oh, that's, that's right. That's what's so weird about you guys. You come, you know, you guys come and go, and we forget the, the, what was going oh, yeah. on the last time you were here. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, we were doing that. Remember that? The human sacrifice. Yeah, right, oh, you were right. a part of that show. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Was, uh, who was it? Twitchells with the uh, big egg? pitched uh, the, 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 the guy reading the news. Yeah, the, the big guy. The, yeah. The stutter. No, no, was, and there was, one of the stories was about a guy who had, who had uh, it was a plane crash or something. Right, so right. So it was literally breaking news. You're like, somebody's hearing about their dead relative from this twitchy <laughs> yeah. freak. <laughs> He'll be at the uh, live broadcast. Oh, yeah. All the stars will be there. <laughs> We're just. All the celebrities <laughs> of the show. Yeah. All right. What a mess. Yeah, they're killing us on instant feedback and stuff, so we got to get to the game. You play video games, Greg? No, I don't. Sorry. No, you really don't? No, no, not really. I'm gonna start though now that I have uh, <laughs> yeah. kids. What do you What do you do with your time? I can't imagine. You know, that. I wish I wish I knew. You I never got into video games. What the was planet? the last video game you played? Uh, probably Pong. Pong. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I'm not even kidding. The, the not Pong, but like Space Invaders, like that era. You know what I'm saying? That was era. You just gave up. They've got so much. They don't time. interest you or anything. Yeah. You know what it is? I got. I, I have so. Ch you you're talking about ADD. I have that so much to begin with. It's like that's all I need is another habit to you know try to yeah. break all my bad habits. So to sit around doing nothing for twelve hours. Just observing stuff for your act or just, something. You know, is I just that, try I to mean, get you know my material from life. Great yeah, reads. I just I re a reader. I read. We Great got reads. ourselves oh. a reader. God, I hate readers. It's like, it's like you know what it is. It's like there's two different worlds in comedy. There's there's uh like the Patton Oswalt's uh -huh. and there's silly motherfuckers. And Greg is caught in a vortex between those two, <laughs> where Greg reads, uh, but if he's on this show, he can't go, well, fellas, you know, uh, I get uh, I get a special weekend um, uh, 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 edition of the Wall Street <laughs> Times. The Wall Street Times. The, the, a new paper. The, yeah. Coming out next week. The yeah, New Patrice. York Journal right. Times yeah. Street. I, not only, I don't just read. He gets I read. special papers from Tokyo. He reads. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes in here. He can't go, hey, man, I'm reading. But, if you know, he's in San Francisco. And, God, mm -hmm. what are you doing tonight? I'm going to. Greg is one of those motherfuckers who does read the book to the movie. Yeah, yeah. man. Oh, Broke, wow. Brokeback Mountain, the book. The, oh, the that was book is so much better. Yeah. yeah. There's well, things that happen in a though. tent that they, they didn't even get touch on it. God. Yeah, <laughs> no, I liked it better. The book was, there was just definitely yeah. a lot more. Uh, <laughs> a lot so more you can hear it. The Greg reads. He's a, he's a fucking uh, reader. That's nothing read, wrong with that. You book. know, when they <laughs> describe how viscous his spit was when he spit it in his hand and rubbed it on his cock and stuff in the guy's ass, that's what the book gives you that the movie really did. It does. Plus, learning and seeing that viscous is spelled O U S. I never would have thought of it. <laughs> That's the thing you pick up with a book, you know. <laughs> Greg, he, has, he motivates well just through any, you know. I'm not yeah, gonna here, give him that New York Times then, man, because uh, that he thing, just, sit, today. That thing no, just sits no, there. That New York Times never leaves this fucking no. spot. Look who, look how uh, worn out the New York Post is. <laughs> and, and look at the New York Times. It's, like, still pressed <laughs> nicely. You know what the <laughs> Times <laughs> used to be used for in here? Before we got the shades, whenever we'd have nudity here in the studio, we, could, the we couldn't have the office area exposed to it. Uh, just in case of sexual harassment or something. So we would use the Times and tape it up on the window. The same way like a monkey would use it to shit on. We just like tape it up so naked girl can get naked. I know what's weird about that yeah, whole we story. Care. We work with all guys. Yeah. All no. guys. But no. someone has a problem with someone had a problem. females getting nude. It is offensive. No. I, I mean, in this day and age. All right, let's get to the video game. So they're having yeah. a problem with another video game. A little problem, and there. usually these are shooter games that uh, people have a problem with. The theme of it is, you know, just go out there and kick some ass, kill some cops, steal shit, beat hookers over the head with crowbars, and steal the cars like Grand Theft Auto or something. Uh, people get a little upset, and it makes the news. This one, 
I think they're running out of uh, violent video games to get upset about because this is a little stupid. Here's the story. A new video game getting a whole lot of attention, but it's not because of sex or violence. It's because of graffiti. It's oh. called Contents Under Pressure. The game calls for the player to graffiti a city that looks a lot like New York. While the game's creator says there's not a gun in sight, adversaries think it encourages kids to act up. <laughs> We'd have to be naive to think that children are going to be satisfied with marring something on a game. It just uh, excites them, uh, and the excitement is going to wear off till they do it for real. Where's How your proof? Handle Does that a happen? shotgun to yeah. focus a sniper's range and, you know, boom, headshot. You know, that, those are games that end up getting T ratings and sell all across, you know, American mainstream retail. You don't hear any politicians up in arms about that. The designer points out that the game has an M rating for kids 17 and up. Uh, so it's already got so that it's already got a rating. rating, and that guy was so sure that the kids uh, they'll just get all excited, like they're uh, uh, all worked up about spray painting on a video game. First of all, that game sounds like it fucking stinks. Yeah, who the hell is what that? kind of that's game? That's the Mark Echo game. The you, you Echo Clothing. Oh, Sorry, yeah. the, the clothing designer. That's his game. Yeah, yeah. It is, it's really well. It sounds horrid. It's I mean, look, what the fuck are you gonna graffiti Anthony, in a video game? I agree with the fucking shit. I'm gonna tell you. Years ago, I, I wait. You to, agree with the what they're saying about the video I games? I went to therapy. I used to run around and just eat dots off the floor while ghosts chased me. Yeah. Until I ate one blue one and num I chased those and motherfuckers. You chased them and, and that shit fucked me up for years. <laughs> 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 well, that's how it's you know, done. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Patrice, exactly. was, uh, he was a big, you were a big, uh, remember you went through that killing hookers phase? <laughs> yep. You pay them, and then you beat them over the head and steal their money. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, first of all, it sounds like a shitty game. It's just Secondly, fun. why do people believe that whatever you do in a game, you are destined to then just go out and now do it in real life because you're not satisfied? Any game I've played. Uh, and I've played a lot of different types of games. Shooters, where you're killing people. Yep. Shooters, where you're killing monsters. Uh, r society games, where you have to build a, a, a city and make it work and function it. Like, I don't d decide that, hey, look, I did a great job of building a city and making the trains run on time. I'm running Trump for now. mayor. Right, right. I'm <laughs> running for mayor because I did it here in Sim City. How many times have you fought and actually ten punch combo the motherfucker? Yeah, there I've you go. Many a time. Bring on uh, the, I was going to say Tyson, but that <laughs> Dates me. I could probably beat him now. The guy, I quit. Oh, I punch, don't want to fight no punch more. Out. <laughs> yeah. But but it's like, why do people feel that just because you enjoy doing something in a game, you're going to do it in real life? Uh, you enjoy watching something in a movie. That's a problem. They've been trying for years to prove that point too, and they just can't. Oh, do they it. cannot They're prove doing it. Studies well, and all sorts of shit. It's it's like that that sort of cliche mindset that the world is degenerating and everything's mm -hmm. automatically getting worse when the, you know crime statistics are down. There's not just less crime vandalism. way I was down. In the seventies, growing up in Queens, in New York, in the seventies, this place was a was a urine soaked shit. It was horrific. There was no video games. Do you remember any drive? I remember growing up on Long Island. We would drive into uh, New York City, and. Every mile, the closer you got to the city, the more abandoned, burnt-out oh, yeah. cars oh, you would that? see on the sides of the expressway, yeah. the parkways. Like, we're just a dumping ground for stolen vehicles. Yeah. That is gone now. You see a vehicle on the side of the road, you know it was some dumb drunk who got pulled over and had to leave his car there. Uh, the crime has gone down, but for some reason they want to say that video games and movies and the uh, uh, television shows are making kids more violent. And it's just not... Everything points to the opposite. I'm not gonna of that. lie, you dude. I play. I play Xbox 360. I'm, I, I'm trying to get this Ghost Recon thing, but I was playing. Uh -huh. uh, remember Call of Duty 2? Yeah. It, it, if after you f play it for a while, when they become so complex, you really do believe that you strategically can survive in a war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You kind of get like this thing that happened. That. that I go during the game. My strategy as a leader, I go. You're okay, leading men. Here's what I'm gonna do. I know that the computerized uh, art uh, artificial intelligence, they're going to come here, but a lot of them come here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay in a corner, shoot that guy when he comes in, and uh -huh. when they come, shoot them. And all the bodies just going to pile up. Right. And the way it, you, you do it, you, you believe that you could make it through. Yeah. You, you know, you send this guy over here, and now they have these games where you can control your... Your forces. Your other guys, yeah. And and it's so real that you maybe you but, you might actually Patrice, fucking you know. Think let me you tell you something. Live. You think you're gonna lay there as fifty Nazis come running in single file at your machine gun? <laughs> uh, 
They never work like that. I play a game called uh, Age of Empires 3. It's a civilization-based game where you got to build up your your city, uh, your walls, get walls up, towers, gun emplacements. What do they call those because games? Because after a while, the shit's going to hit the fan. What do they it's call those It's a RPG game. RPG Ro- game. Yeah, role play. Okay. Or, uh, uh, I'm not even sure if that's it. Role play game, right? It's a... Uh, it's kind of like you, you're building up your societies, build an army. That's fun. But now you got to have people also that have to farm and do things so you can get resources to build more armies and equipment. <laughs> Dude, this takes <laughs> – but you get so – no. These games sell like crazy, and you get so into it. The balance that you have to do – you could be a guy so who just society, decides – your society could die if somebody don't grow corn. Bingo. <laughs> But you can't. There are there are guys that could just sit there and go. I'm just gonna farm. This is gonna be. I'm gonna farm. I'm gonna mine for gold. I'm gonna mine for iron. I'm gonna uh, 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 gather up animals and do that and be a peaceful guy. And you know what's gonna happen? About half hour into the game, a charge of army comes and wipes (laughs) you the fuck out. Represents this. This represents uh, a like. How much time? Okay, Dirty so you hours. so you say you're you're, you're the Ming Dynasty or something? Yeah, shit. right. Exactly. You, you you you're a farmer. You're you're um in charge of you got to get or, hundreds of people now, are in this game. Thirty minutes into the game represents what a hundred years? Uh, it could. Yeah, it could. It, or you uh, could slow it down. It depends on how fast yeah. you upgrade. If you, you have prepare, to get to certain points where all of a sudden it'll go. You now qualify to upgrade to the next age. So now you're in like the Iron Age. You go from all your army is is these guys with sticks. Wait, wait a minute. Wait the fuck a yeah, second. Okay. So let's say you're in 20 AD or some shit. Okay. Okay. So say you you live in say you're living pretty peaceful. Right. And and say 30 years goes by, no wars. Uh-huh. Do you have to assign fucking? So that you have children to grow up that become soldiers you to go, defend your fucking territory? You go to your home base type area and start making people. You make people. You, which and, and they're assigned as children. workers. Yeah, they're assigned as workers. Then you have to build things like barracks and archeries for different uh, uh, uh Military guys. Babies don't grow. No, babies don't grow. All right, all right. And then after a while, you got to balance out your economy with your military uh, because you're going to get attacked. Now, what I was getting to is the point is you're playing against the computer. You can figure it out. Uh, And I've done that. I've gotten, like, up there quite a few levels playing against the computer. There are ships. You have a navy that could come in. You build docks around there and, and guard them with your ships. It's amazing. I've built armies that are stunning that have wiped out uh uh the computer's enemy that comes after me then i decide i'm gonna kick i'm going online motherfucker i'm playing other guys so i go online i set up and i'm pumping as fast as i can now the adrenaline's going i i gotta get this guy farming i need more wood or i can't build a fucking catapult (laughs) i got this guy this guy got a farm for corn because i gotta feed enough of these soldiers to make them and more guns so and I'm building, I'm building, I'm building. I get an army up that I think is going to kick some ass. But explain, this takes days. Oh, uh, uh, it's well, this isn't a couple hour game. No, this one, this game will, will take, this scenario will take about five, six, seven hours, Jeez. where Wait, you're man. playing straight. There's no pause. So is it one of those games where okay, you think you're ready and you push right, you push ready, and then it just does something, and then it'll tell you if you want to lose. You got to kind of micromanage. Yeah, you got to fight. You got to kind of micromanage. So what you, you do, do get to fight the other army. Yeah. What I, what I like to do at first is set up some defenses. I'm very defensive at the beginning while I'm trying to get enough gold. Which and represents stri- your and, Long Island home? Bu- right. That's my <laughs> Long Island home. So I'll build the army up. And before I got enough guys, because on the computer, when I'm playing against the computer, I get an army together and send them out in like this mass and just kick ass. Before I got enough army guys, I see elephants coming toward my, my, uh, my big city. Elephants coming, these guys with these bazooka-type things, cannons, uh, demolishing my buildings. This and, is the guy online. Yeah, this some, is another guy in Cleveland somewhere <laughs> that just knows how to do everything perfectly. In, perfectly. Who yeah. kangaroos to fucking right, right. Dude, <laughs> I got my <laughs> ass handed to me. So I'm looking at, here's how the game ends. It's an elimination game. So I have like one guy left running around the hillside. With my former beautiful city in ruins, 
with one guy trying to build a house so I could start <laughs> over again. And he's just chasing me with, like, the biggest military I've ever seen. And it was done. He what what does the screen look like? wiped me out. The screen is an overhead view from, you know, it could be from anywhere from ground level to about 100, yeah, you can move 150 it feet you can up. Zoom in. You move around the play yeah. area. You could use different things like canyons and, and uh, the sea and rivers as, as blocks and stuff. But uh, the object is, yeah, to build a society that works and a military that works. And uh, when you're playing against the computer, completely different animal than playing against another human. They will kick your ass. No, I don't care how good you are. <laughs> get your ass handed to you. But it's a great game. Seven hours, by so the way. So what did you, lack, what did you lack to get fucked up? What did you I don't I know. That's just this. it. I don't know. This, Where were your elephants, I, well, Exactly. <laughs> These guys have it down like These math. These niggas raise elephants. They have it like math in their head. They know yeah. what to do, when to do it, exactly to minute, build their but society. Where was the elephant option? Do you, you the said elephant option elephants? comes up like five levels in. You go, now you advance to the Iron Age. Now you advance to the, you know, Middle Ages. This. So I got three guys with punji stakes uh, poking <laughs> at a oh, metal so wall. You, didn't wait. you know, wait, I couldn't upgrade. I didn't have enough corn. Well, how the fuck? <laughs> he got 20 farms running. How can, how I don't fuck know how he got it. The guy who just, you, you, you were at the level where you just. I had a windmill. You just discovered fire. I had a windmill. He's got a nuclear reactor. This nigga just built a wind. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> and why would you fight him? I, I didn't fight him. I was trying to build an army and get my level. He already had his. He came and kicked my ass. I'd have been happy sitting there. <laughs> leave me get, alone. You didn't get up to elephants. Nigga. I didn't get up fast enough. How about is Narnia? There a way? What level is Narnia where you get a witch and a there, fucking talking cheetah? Yeah, can you do, can you do uh, in, implement religion? And there are like that? churches that you build. Uh, not so much in three. In two, it was great. You'd have uh, priests that could go out and convert their troops. So if you saw a bunch of their troops fucking with some shit, you'd send your priest over and you'd hear, oh, 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 and all of a sudden, bring, and his troops are now yours. They turn around and start kicking ass on the guys that they were just fighting with. Yeah. So religion played a part in it. It was, it, it, it is a great game, and, and I've spent Anthony, upwards of seven hours. a fucking life. No. Is that possible there, to get a life? Why would this I, is what's going on out there, there are and it's games, getting more and more complicated. There are games that are so immersive and complicated. You know, a lot of people play Xbox and stuff, and that's fine, and PlayStation, but I can't play a game with a controller. In that I need games where I need a template that lays over my keyboard. I need something with pedals and throttle <laughs> handles and fucking steering wheels and multi-monitors up on the wall. you got to see his gaming system. He's oh, the my real desk deal, is man. ridiculous. He's got, like, huge fans to try to keep everything the cool. The fans make so much noise you can't hear the TV. So <laughs> the graphics cards are working like pumping out water-cooled motherfuckers that are just like... they. I, I'm playing full oh, screen man. on widescreen monitors. <laughs> you, you know what? That's fucking great, though, because you actually look at you. They're oh, having shit. more and more articles about this, too, that people are now living their lives online instead in the real world. It's more it's a, exciting. It's a creepy thing. I, I'm i exploring this new Internet world. I mm -hmm. mean, I, I, I was liter literate. Uh, you know, I was, I was computer literate, but. I, I think it's a creepy thing. I don't. I don't like it. it I don't like these these faceless weirdos out there. Like if you go, Neo is God, and if I didn't meet him, I wouldn't know he was just this hunchback little mess <laughs> that comes in here. And he's he's Superman on that fucking thing. Yeah. It's like Neo is God, and you'll see the. You got to explain the draw he's though. He's on one of our pal, faithful fucking, listeners, but he's he's it's scary pal, online. Pal, but pal talk. Yeah. It, it, the pal talk. It's the pal talk thing, and you got cameras and everything. And on computer, man, it's like. Here, if I Neo if, in real life, right. Neo's like you, he's like my pet retard. I'll be <laughs> oh, like, this is my shit. this is my pet Neo here. Yeah. Shh, down yeah. Neo. So, and on the computer, it'll be like he has this control thing. He has uh, he can control. He's an admin. When he can talk. He can. He knows how to control like yeah. just him talking, and you can't get in. He's an admin and, in yeah. one of the fan rooms, which means he can control who talks, who doesn't talk. Who can, he could throw people out of the room at, at, at Superman. At isn't, that, isn't that a more evolved? Maybe that's the future. That's the whole point. Just we don't want that being, shit to be Being a future. bigger, strong guy is a no, primitive no, 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 way no, no, of existing. No, 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 no. That's not my fucking point, which is being just a big, because there's bigger and stronger dudes walking around. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about just a, a person just that, that you feel energy and you can go back and forth as opposed to 
I'm typing, hey, what's uh, what's going on? And somebody, you know, types L O fucking L. Fuck, oh fuck your L O L and the ass and and your f- and your fucking L-O-L. smiley faces and your and your hey man. Like one, the first time I ever in my life, about uh, seven years ago, got on a computer and stopped me from getting on a computer mm-hmm. is I typed. I had I changed my fonts to red, all caps. <laughs> And I go, oh, shit. and I go, hey everybody, no, no. and some cunt goes, do you have to yell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fucking bitch, I'm yelling now. Uh, that was just, that was my way of going, hi everybody, I'm new to this, and now do you have to yell. <laughs> hey, there go Neo. There There's you go. a picture of Neo. He, that's oh, the boss. There now, he is. Does that have anything to do with me being just a big primitive guy? Master yes. Blaster, no, run no, Barker not Town. Not bigger and stronger. But yeah, I even mean, though you know, he's built he's like got a caveman, capacities. used to be built. Like, <laughs> that's how caveman used to be built. <laughs> you know, in an evolved state, we're not going to have outward presences anymore. No Why physical body. Why would bodies. you say that, Greg? Because he reads the New York Times. You know, yeah. and that's New York Times. But Greg doesn't even accept that. Yeah, that's I do. what kills me. Greg, oh. you don't. What do you mean? I think in the future, unfortunately, You're reluctantly that, that guy this. is going to rule our our society. I hope Who not. run Barter Town? <laughs> Who <laughs> run Barter Town? <laughs> Master Blaster run Barter Town. And are you, do you think? That's Neo. Oh, the nigga that sits on <laughs> Mad Max. <laughs> but see, that's, that's who he is. <laughs> He's the midget. From Thunderdome. This is time. What is this? What's that? What's that shit? Time. Uh, the time machine. <laughs> motherfuckers with the motherfuckers down low and the, oh, the Morlocks. The, the Morlocks and the and the white hair. Get the, that nigga ain't ruling shit. <laughs> Fucking master blaster. He ain't ruling shit, but his. He runs far to town at night. Not, he's not ruling shit except for his his authentic fake John Cena belt and. <laughs> and embargo. <laughs> And boom, he hits Get the button, the you bounce from the fucking room. Get out of and, I, and I like Neo, but I'm saying I can't. That shit is creepy to me, and it fucking bugs me. Though, and then they come to the shows, and they don't know how to behave like in real society. People. Yeah. They don't know how to do it. That's what I'm saying. Greg Greg knows he, he's not a part of this. He not, he's not a part of this. He's a, a enigma. He's like a, a, a super studious guy, you know, lawyer, the whole mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. But this whole world is creepy to him, too, because they, they're mutants that come out and you go, calm down. And they don't know what calm down is coming from a human human warmth. All right, thank you for loving me, man, but just relax. Yeah. Because yeah! they're used to pushing smiley face. Yay! <laughs> but I love that you, you, yeah. you, like, the examples of these guys, uh, the, the, their, their ultra-sophisticated technological powers are that they go LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really didn't help your point. Let's go to Yak. Yak, what's up? Yeah, uh, I know that game has to be talking about, that civilization game, and he's leaving out the whole thing about the treaties. Like, you'd make friends with a country, and then eventually... True. You'd go fuck with them, and then they'd say, wait, we have a treaty, and you'd be like, fuck it all, and yeah. all your people around them. You can make treaties with other countries. Uh, other, when you're playing multiplayer, also you can make treaties with people <laughs> and then break the treaty. Like uh, It's like, hey, dude, me and you, we'll get an army together, we'll, we'll kick this guy's ass. And it's like, okay. And then after you kick his ass, you're the only two left. What, are you going to live in harmony for a thousand years <laughs> on your computer? And that's what Come back tomorrow do. and go, hey, how's your corn? Long, no, you're going to get your island. army and run into him and kick his <laughs> just ass. Just like Survivor on TV. Yeah, <laughs> just like Survivor. <laughs> it's a matter of Long you Island. you never make fucking friends, I can tell. That's why you got your ass beat, because the oh. guy made friends with elephant people. No, I don't <laughs> want to make friends. Didn't. You're right. You the guy's right. I don't make any allies, nothing on the, Like, you'll see, you'll see a, a message will come over. Would you like to make a treaty with uh, France over here? And it's like, no. <laughs> and then... Here comes a huge French army. <laughs> Where did you go? I'm still fucking baking Anthony, bread. Anthony's the only one on there with a phone that goes, hello? Yeah, why are you yeah. calling me? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I don't want to. No, no. no. Don't call my house, man, please. <laughs> uh, on a daily basis, aside from the radio show, you know, on a daily basis, I interact with a hell of a lot more people in fake life, Online, in cyber than, life, than, in, than real life. in real life. Yeah. That's not good. I but, it's no. not good, but that's what the way. I think good. if you ask a lot of people, except Greg, they yeah. fall into that category where between message boards, you know, when I post on a message board, uh, I'm, there's at least 50 people right then and there that are going to read it. It's not good, but it's happening. And react yeah. to Every it. Every kid in America is going right back to their room after school and, and having chats with their friends with the IM. I go thing. home. I see. Well, here I see you, you guys. I like, go home. I see my chick. 
I see my close friends sometimes when they come over Stop. or something. Stop but with, Stop with that lie. Yeah, what, no. that lie? That, I'm that talking very rare. Oh, very rare. I'm talking like Adam Ferraro will come over like once in a blue moon. Get out of here. I'll once see him. Two years. Adam's a creep. Joe Curry. <laughs> Adam's a strange <laughs> motherfucking dude. Adam is a creep, <laughs> and he's my pal. He's just a super. Adam's like so super positive, it makes my stomach hurt. I know. Hey, Adam, <laughs> you keep thinking he's kidding. You keep Adam, thinking he's got to be kidding. Yeah, like it's like he's so nice. You go, what's what's really going on, motherfucker? He's Where's the gimp? Always been I know that something's way. in a trunk somewhere <laughs> locked up. And I, now Neo's extreme. I'm just fucking with Neo because Neo kind of to to function in life as a to feel what normalness normalcy feels like. He would have to be on the computer. It, it gives him a sense of because yeah. you can't. I mean, let's be fucking honest. But I'm I'm talking about why a a, a 55 year old man <laughs> 55. with a full, a full head of hair Jesus, with, 55. with beautiful doe eyes. I, I, why am I being fucking kept from seeing your beautiful eyes? At least Opie will fucking, he'll roll his, you should see when oh, he leaves the thing with Master fucking Poe wrapped up like Yoda <laughs> on a cell phone. I'm like, and, and I just did a show with him, and the way his, his aura is, because I'm good with reading shit, I go, I just I give him a, hey, what's up, man? Like, I better not talk to him in the street, because he has his fucking hood, and he's he's not even walking, he's floating like a Spike Lee movie. And his, That's and how his Anthony costume. goes home every day. You're so like, right. And, 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 and it's like, you, oh. I barely want to talk to Anthony because you can feel. I flip the hood up because I hate cold. Once it gets warm out, Fuck I don't wear the you. parka in the summer. Fucking it's going to be 68 degrees in New York City. When I walk down today to get to my truck, that hood will not be on. He's only doing because he felt it. And I'm, saying, I'm like, man, I like last night. It's like you don't know how to because it is a radio world, but uh -huh. you know, I like you guys, you know what I mean? But yeah. you go, mm, like, I'll, I'll text message Opie. I wanted to keep, I actually wanted to call him and talk, but I'm like, mm, mm. I'll text message, and I'll go, mm, and we'll, I'll try to figure out at what text message does it stop. Because <laughs> right, right. Opie's kind of a control freak, so I said, maybe I'll let Opie have the last text. And then it's like, you come out, and, 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 and fucking, you know, Boba Fett is got your back and walking the streets, and he's on the phone, not talking to anybody, just pushing buttons with his hood up. And I'm like, hey. He's making corn, man. No, do you know he's what I corn with his phone? Do you know what I do on that phone? He can't wait to get home. He's got to get his yeah. corn made. Do you know what I do on that phone? What? When I, I'm not making a phone call. I have video on demand on my phone, so I'm watching TV <laughs> oh, as I'm walking to my truck. And Greg, he's like watching the news. That's good. Right? I watch it's Fox keep News. Up. I feel like I'm, I'm in the corner at the at the closed down uh, Italian restaurant on my phone. I see yeah. Anthony come by. I give him eye contact. Like I don't I haven't been talking to the nigga for hours. <laughs> I, I give him a. I'm not gonna bother you, dude. I recognize no. you. <laughs> I enjoyed our walk to the garage. We had a nice little conversation. Yeah. I enjoy talking to Patrice. I, I go, hey, Ann, I don't want to overextend our boundaries, even though we were actually together. Yeah, for it was like Patrice goes. I, I go, Patrice, take it easy, man. He goes, well, my car is parked in the. He's like making an excuse. My car is parked in the same because garage I, I as yours. Maybe, maybe, may, you. may I? May I walk with you? I, I don't want to make you feel like you have because I know you're a recluse. Patrice, you, you are, are so welcome to Howard walk Hughes. and talk with. Me. Howard Hughes. You're coming, you nailed <laughs> it, though. Radio. You nailed it. <laughs> Sounds like we're all really close pals. I, I realize <laughs> at 11 o'clock we all go our own ways as fast as possible. The older I get, the less people I want to deal with. You're right. I guess I, uh, bowling's it, out then. It gets out. No. You know I mean? I've, I've gone bowling. You know, I, it's hard to talk a lot with Patrice around, so I figured uh, I would keep quiet on the radio, and then you and me would go bowling later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll happen. Patrice does tire us out, man. He's got a lot of energy. I love when Patrice comes All right, let's on, go to man. Nate in Brooklyn. Nate. Good morning, guys. Hey. Hey, man. Opie, I can see it. One day you're going to be start the show telling us that Ant's in a mental hospital, screaming that he had to kill his video game chickens to keep the guy from Cleveland from learning his army's location. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, guys. You gotta be careful. <laughs> uh, let's uh, go to Knuckle Child in Jersey. Hey guys, hey. Uh, I just wanted to ask uh, Anthony if, after all the years of EverQuest, he finds himself uh, in his basement whittling arrows and working on his room craft. Crafting arrows? No, I haven't played EverQuest or EverQuest Two or any of those games in a while. Those take uh, years off of your life. You just you spend years playing it. And Literally, they, and they never years. end. And they never end. It just it goes on and on to get to the next level. And some parts of the game are combat. Other parts are crafting arrows to for use in combat. Hours so for hours, hours, you're trying to get experience points crafting things. Uh, one time, I, I spent hours making uh, 
iron ingots <laughs> so I could make a belt buckle, <laughs> and ju- and Do it just see? took hours. Hold on, oh, that's not right. All why right. don't you go see <laughs> Patrice? You know, Anthony, why don't you go see uh, fucking The Hills Have Eyes with me? That's a, like go to you Let's with the movies with you. Let's just go to a movie and watch Hills Have Eyes. I, you know, I could probably get it from one of the guys. <laughs> they burn it, and I watch it at home on my big screen. It's uh, great, Pat- Patrice. Uh, Granted, it's not normal, but this is this is going on. Explain the eBay thing with EverQuest. That's even creepier. People uh, make characters for EverQuest. Now, it takes years sometimes. Some people power game. But it takes years sometimes to build up your character. I've had the same character since 1998 on uh, on uh, EverQuest. And it's valuable. It's it's still there. It's valuable. Is people he out there then, somewhere in the cyber world? Yeah, yeah, right now he's crouched down somewhere just sitting. Been just there waiting for, to play again. Waiting for me to log just on and, and yeah, give him life growing. again. Who, what you, what's his name? Andy no. Circus? I think his name is Vax. V-H-A-X-X. That's eight years of your fucking life. Uh, is this ca- you okay? this character is sitting there? I am so <laughs> fine. Why don't you Patrice, oh, look, you know what? but good. it's so he started out as just this guy from the north, from the Northlands, the snowy Northlands, <laughs> as nothing with no possessions. And now you I have created. treasures beyond compare, Patrice. Why are you and power. This you know what? Power. You don't condone uh, no, this. I don't. Way. I don't. No, I, I, I don't but talks. I'm kind of playing devil's advocate here a little, which uh-huh. is what's so great about regular life, anyway? <laughs> Thank you. Fuck you. Ah! No, I'm not kidding. Really, if you think about it, I mean, what the fuck? You could you could go. You could create uh, ingots. Is your you five right? And you ingots. get to live. You get to uh, you know live in existence. What is an ordinary person day to day? What is so? You got a good life, Patrice. You're a comic. You get a lot of ass. You know, I mean, a regular life for an average everyday person. You Patrice, get... have you ever been on a raid with a hundred and fifty people to slay a dragon? And I wouldn't fucking want to. Oh, well, well, my you know, friend, you're missing, sir. <laughs> Be Shaka Zulu, motherfucker. <laughs> I right, want to be able to eat a fucking bagel with salmon cream All right, listen, 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 listen. Hold on, though. Explain uh, further the eBay thing, because this is how yeah, crazy so, this game so gets. So people build up they take. Th- their levels and build up uh, their, their uh, possessions to a point where they then can sell their account on eBay. And these things went for thousands of dollars at some point. Somebody paid like five grand for a character. Or that, or a certain weapon too, right? Yeah, certain it, weapons. They're like, I'll sell you these. Weapons st- that take what? The Staff of Elimination can be sold to you. What's the oldest character? What's, how old is this game? Game probably, I, I think I was on it really at the beginning, so probably 98. But listen how this exchange somewhere. takes place. This is the weirdest part about it. What they give, uh, you got to pay So you go on eBay money. with your character or this weapon yeah. that's really hard to do unless you want to, you know, spend. I don't know what years on the game, yeah, whatever. Yeah, years. So uh, you'll you'll throw it on eBay. I got a certain weapon or certain character, and then somebody will say, "Well, I will pay you the five thousand for that." Yep. And they wait for the money to go into a, uh, uh, an account, mm-hmm. and then they meet in cyberspace. And what the characters hand it over, or the weapons. Then you over, give whatever. your your uh, login name. <sighs> And password, and the character and is no yours. And there's no way for you to download it and keep it and then sell that motherfucker. Mm. What's to keep you from selling 85 of these dudes? Uh, well, you would probably, I don't know, if you took the money and didn't give the password. Uh, no, you get the password, but you just down, you create, you just transfer him over. You know what? I'm guessing something. that the guys that spent 12 years developing these characters have some sort of <laughs> some, some sort of system built. Yeah, yeah, like, really. yeah, something so they don't get ripped <laughs> off. No, no, I'm oh, saying I the guy that's selling it to you. Yeah. yeah. I'm sell, I sell you my, my, oh, my nine-year character. I go, here's my nine-year character, but I, I still have my nine-year character. You put it character. in some kind of account. You put the money in an account until everybody's happy, then the money's released. No, 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 no. I'm yeah. saying okay. I yeah. sell you my character. Right. You give me the money. Okay. But what keeps me, the guy who's selling the character, from keeping my imaginary fucking thing <laughs> on my computer? The name or password, you change it then. The guy that bought it changes his password. Now the old guy has no access to no, that saying, character. No, i isn't there like something no, you can download? No, no it's, on, it's on the game's servers. It's not on the, the, the actual character isn't on your server. It's on the game server. You've got to log in on the game. You can't just have it at your house. That's just hand right. over some graphic this cartoon is, to some guy. This is guys. where it gets crazy. Uh, Dave in Memphis. Dave. Hey, boys. Uh, yeah, I had to tell my fucking wife, man. She got so engulfed in these fucking uh, RPG yeah, they, online things. Real they were calling. Kids, I think it was called. They were calling games like EverQuest and stuff the Widowmaker because it would break up relationships like crazy. There were people that just wouldn't 
wouldn't pay attention to wives and yeah. well, girlfriends, let's uh, see what boyfriends. Dave, let's see what happened to Dave. So what happened, Dave? What was the game? And hey, it, was, it was called a uh, RuneScape, I think. RuneScape. Now it just turned her into a fucking zombie, man. The house, you know, never pick up. She never fucking cleans. You know? Just sits it's like there. So fucking living in this online virtual fucking world, man. I mean, it just drove me nuts. People get married in this uh, world. <laughs> they have right, weddings like where that. they invite people, I'm and they all gather. And there's like a uh, a clergyman type guy, and <sighs> and they buy rings, they fashion them, and exchange them, and vows, and vows shall not touch my pussy. And it, yeah, <laughs> the second as I sit here and your dick is hard, you yeah. will not put your hands on the great yeah. princess Orokian from the planet Bufla. And you crazy Some bitch. Some people really get all, into it. What if so I smash your head with this, this fucking keyboard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Jeremy in California. Jeremy. Hey, guys, what's happening? Hey. Um, I was going to tell Patrice and everybody, the whole allure of it all is you're escaping reality. You don't have to deal with the normal, everyday bullshit. You get on your computer and all your worries of your fat-ass wife or whatever goes away. That's just, it's sad, dude. That's just uh, fucking sad, man. Well, I don't know about that. People escape are really, from, people you, you are really enjoying this, their time on... this shit to escape from reality? Yeah. <laughs> I, I am reality. I am reality. I am reality, motherfucker. You, are you, I, I'm not impressed with this shit. I don't, I'm not, it doesn't make, I don't, I don't sympathize with this whole escape from fucking, it's I not gotta live reality, reality, nigga. It's I not I got diabetes, escaping. I gotta, th there's no magical mountain I could go on and not have to fucking take pills, nigga. It's Deal ain't with no life, escaping reality game. Deal it's, with your shitty job. I just, it's why enhancing can't you your just, life. Why can't you just enjoy it? Really, like, the widow makers enhancing your fucking life? Enhance, for some people, I this love, enhances their life. I love, uh, you're uh, like a, you're a, you're a 30 year old guy game. living in your parents' basement working at a deli, but online, you're a king of some fucking yeah. society, some man. Some realm. So what happens after logging out? Well, you then, log out, your character sits there where you had it and, until and you log back on. The you, game never ends. What happens to you? They, they get another oh, logging out. They me? get another addiction. They get another uh, video game they're into. My brother's roommate spends well over uh, 16 hours a day on, on one of these online games. He yeah. has given up on doing anything social. <laughs> he goes to work and he goes right to his room, closes the door. And you don't see him until he uh, has to go to work the next day. You had to be real. That's his entire life. It's not an exaggeration. I'll be over at my brother's. It's 90 degrees, summer day, gorgeous. Like, get the fuck outside, have fun, right? His shades are down. He's online with his headphones just enjoying the hell out of himself. He doesn't give a shit about the real world anymore. <laughs> you had to be real to do this. You had to be real yeah. to do what you're doing. Yep. You had to be real to get into comedy. You you made a conscious decision to stay real. Yeah. There's yeah. times you wish you could take a Calgon bath and fucking <laughs> leave it all behind and take go wild. Take away. It's, like, it's just like I don't have sympathy for people who commit suicide. <laughs> it's like it's too easy to escape from fucking what reality, motherfucker? It's not handle your reality. Ain't handle no your any escape from reality. Any entertainment. You can it, it, right. Yeah. Yeah. It. That was but sports. but it's anything you do. But you don't. You're not an escape from reality, no, I'm, comic I'm, Greg. I'm, no, I'm not. You give people reality when yeah. you're on stage. You do. <laughs> do you or do you not? But yeah, it's no, just but having what fun for on. most people. It's not an escape. It's going. I enjoy uh, the graphics. I like the gameplay. Is fun. It, at no time am I like. Thank God I'm here in the castle. I'm I, the reality out there. I, I don't want to deal with. I find it. that hard. I be, look, man. It's hard to raise a real dog for ten years, let alone to take the time to raise a cyber alien nigga and sell it for a couple of dollars. <laughs> I just, I just love, I love how passionate he can get about, like basically. Oh, like, I should, know. Should you spend twenty hours a day on a re, on one of these games? Probably not. But you're like fired up about it's it. Like, you're gonna set them all straight. Because I get on these pal talks and I'm a regular guy trying to be on pal talk, but I'm with, I'm with, super, super Johnson is great, <laughs> bottom <laughs> slash, who's who takes pride in this shit. All I want to do is see a titty, nigga. That's all. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I want to see a titty I can't see in real life. How good is that? Escaping sex? reality, are you? No, ya? nigga. I'm trying to find it because my conversation <laughs> is high, bitch. Are you? Uh, oh, your your lovey lumps. Um, zero one in in, in in Nevada. Listen, you ever make it to New York, bitch? I'm trying to get a bitch on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> that is interactive. I'm not every, wow. I'm trying to beep, 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 boop. 
send, send, and the the ma- I'm Nick, You I'm, want a reality? I'm You're using that as a tool to make it real. To yeah. make it real. Come right. touch me, baby. I hear you. Uh, how's that but feel? Better than that keyboard, huh? Like, 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 let's uh, Greg. But, but as far as all this virtual stuff, it's kind of the sex stuff that they have, which you think would be much more evolved, right? Actually, isn't. Right, they don't, they don't really have like great virtual sex in, interplay at this point yet. No, it's a lot of flashing of tits. It's a lot of solo I mean, action. Yeah. A lot of guys jerking off on this right. goddamn uh, thing. But uh, you know, you got to weed through the bed. <laughs> I mean, you would think that by now, given what they're doing with everything else, that you would have helmets and systems and things. That Wasn't it supposed really to be like that complete... when they yeah. showed it back in you know the early '90s? You put that virtual reality yeah. helmet on, le- laid back in the chair, <laughs> right. and you're feeling titties and shit, yeah, you thought you'd be and, fucking and, and you're, you're running your hands down hips and fucking. And yeah. <laughs> what was Stallone's movie? Uh, 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 what's that one? Him uh, and uh, what's the name? Funny Face Sarah, San- Sandra Bullock. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, there was a virtual Demolition, reality. Demolition Man. Demolition Man. Hey, just fucking in the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> fucking in the helmet. Get out of here. I saw this chick in, in Reno, dude, and I'm like, me and my girl looking at her, and, and we're doing, we have to do the whole computerized comfort zone, uh-huh. the computerized foreplay. Like, hey, why don't you be w- wink, wink, whisper cam, and how about I invite you into, into... Hey, make a new friend room. And then it's like, hey, sweetie. And I'm trying to figure out, okay, this was great over the internet. This is beautiful. But listen, you're going to be in New York? Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got a website. Go to patriceonew.com. You know I ain't no thrasher, bitch. You know what I mean? Just tell people you come to visit Patrice. And they gonna find me. I ain't gonna kill you, bitch. He I is wanna, trying to get I, girls niggas, live. <laughs> nigga, let's, 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 come on, see me. Yeah. Come on, see me, How's baby. that working out for you? Look, I, I'm a master against some titty. I'm a master at that shit. I've had bill collectors come and visit me, nigga, and I'm not bullshitting. Bitch come to try to collect money, and I'm like, oh, pudding pop. What is, what is this all about? Is this fulfilling? You gonna try to take? You gonna try to take money from a black man? You know, come on, baby. You know what college is like. Come on, see me. Come see me. That's what I want. I don't want this this magical play like this this Lucci chick that runs your your fan site. Yeah, there she like, is. It's like, come on, baby, come out. Look at this! Look at this bitch! I don't want to talk to this bitch on the screen. She got big old juicy. She came titties. out. She was at F A trial, Riley. Yeah, but she around. she hides. Well, she's she's, right. she's just regular bitch on the on the on at F H Riley's, but look on at, here she's right. Lucy eighteen. All right, here we go. Mark Tiger. in Georgia. He lives in the virtual world. Mark. Yeah, I used to. What you used to, huh? Oh uh, yeah, we did uh, air war for about four years, man. Air war. Got to build your air wars. Yeah, air warrior. And you gotta build, and uh, it takes yeah, you, years you, you to. Got, you gotta, you gotta build your own airplanes. You gotta learn how to fly. Then you gotta learn how to fight to freaking stay alive. Yeah, there's that whole yeah. time thing. That's the, those are the addicting games, the ones that take a lot of time to get to anywhere valuable. And it's like 12 hours a day. Next thing I know, is like, damn, I hadn't eaten in the last 24 hours, you know. You hear this? He, he stopped eating. <laughs> you know who got way <laughs> deep into EverQuest and EverQuest 2? Keith the Cop. He was so yep. deep for a while, he figured out how much time he wasted playing the game and what he would have been able to earn in overtime uh, if he would have not played the game and, and worked. And it was just right. hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> Dude, and he wound up just wasting away. And this guy stopped. Wait, wait, let, wait let's yeah, see yeah. what happened with Mark. So what happened, Mark? You did this for four years. You, it got to a point you yeah, forgot to eat. I, I, I went and bought two new computers, every fastest upgrade, anything that could come out for video and sound was there. <laughs> yeah. I built a whole room just for this computer system. And it sounds like and he got money the, to spare. Yeah. And then, the, and then the ex-wife said, that was enough, bye. She left you. She left you. Oh, Holy yeah. shit. Every bit of it was gone. Did wow. she take half your that's gaming what, system? That's, <laughs> what I, that's when I knew I was addicted to the shit. I turned it off. And you haven't played since? No, I couldn't. Um, Man, look, it, it, was, it was worse than the um, I don't even know what kind of addiction Mark, I was. Mark, I got to tell you, the games now, oh, they're so good. Is your life better? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it a try. They made the crack stronger, bro. You got to check it out. Is your life better now, dude? Is your life better? (laughs) Yes, it is. Thank God. I didn't know what I was missing until I got out of it. Life. I appreciate it. Man, we're on to something. Thank you. Uh, I can't even think. What's your name? D'Kiera? Thank you. What? 
Dicterium. That's his magic screen saying. That's his. That's not his real name. His name is Jeff. He's Dicterium, the evil lord of justice. He's Jeff, and he works at Foot Locker. Dicterium, fucking asshole. Right. What's your story, bro? Well, I, I met my wife on EverQuest about three years ago. We used to, uh, we used to meet out by the lake, by a small town in one of the one of the realms. They met in the cyber world. Go. We'd start fishing, and then we'd, you know, go on hunting parties together. And wait, did and you? <laughs> yeah, you can fish. But did you actually have a spot in the cyber world? I'll meet you by the lake. Yeah, yeah. about uh, I'd get on after work. And we'd <laughs> did she cyber stand you up? And s did you have to cyber take her to dinner too? You. You psychopath! There, <laughs> there, there are there are there are lands in these games that aren't just random. I mean, and they're huge. These games oh. are huge. The 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 Very land beautiful. in it would take you days to like run across, and uh, you you get familiar with the spots and the areas and and locations and cities. Like you'll go out on a hunting thing and be gone for like for like weeks doing this, and then come back to your home city and be like, ah, I remember this place. You know Cyber all the exercise and shit. You know all the places. You know where to go and where certain people hang out and stuff. And it becomes a, a society of all these people online that becomes right. very familiar. So you met your wife on uh, EverQuest. You're meeting at an imaginary lake in the cyber world, and then you have to meet in the real world eventually. How was that? Well, I, I paid for her to get a bus ticket down. We, we've been seeing each other... On, uh, on Just as romantic oh, as uh, <laughs> meeting by the lake. I'm sending a coach for you, <laughs> right. my dear. A horse-drawn <laughs> coach. <laughs> Your chariot's <laughs> arriving on. Greyhound. I just bet I could Greyhound kick it. But the ticket had a wax... A uh, seal that when it, when it when it when it broke, uh, Jesus came and fished. Here, this will give you safe Magic passage. Pixie dust. Safe it? passage to my realm. What was her name? Morlocks one fourteen. All right. <laughs> so you so you met her. She uh, she took a bus to see you. Right. Well, she we decided to move in together. I mean, it was we didn't just see each other for the first time. When we when we met, she was you know already looking for a job down here. So I paid for a bus ticket, and she came down, and she stayed for a couple of weeks to look for a job. And then uh, she went What did she get, home. Armor Crafter? Was she looking for Armor Crafting work? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. This is no, just unbelievable, man. Oh, no, this is uh, this is happening more than you realize. Yeah. How, how, are you guys happy? Yeah, we're pretty happy. We play probably about six hours a night now. We, we look at our laptops together. We sit on the bed, and we play. And uh, we'll chat back and forth. Wait, you're in bed with your laptops. Tell me you're meeting in the cyber world, even though she's right next to you. <laughs> she's right next to you. Please tell yeah, me you're yeah, doing we, that. We, we still hunt together, and we still, we still hunt together. I got, I got, well. I got to a point. Swinging. Does she start getting pissed off because you're looking at other women, women in the cyber world? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you talking to a half goat fish woman. <laughs> I, I saw you squirrel hunting. <laughs> <laughs> you think the half elves are cuter than me? <laughs> Why were you squirrel hunting? You don't like squirrel hunting. <laughs> Do I look fat in this chainmail? <laughs> <laughs> Why why'd you go off to the planet Plutox? <laughs> it says here you went to Plutox. Well baby, come on now they go for a trip. <laughs> I used to set up um I had three accounts on three computers. You know that shit's going on too. I heard you got I heard you got the princess from Mario Brothers pregnant. <laughs> you know you guys you never went uh, north of the lake before. What's over there? Yeah, what's uh, who told you about this spot? <laughs> Nothing. What we're trying to say is no amount of technology can make uh, these bitches bearable. Uh, <laughs> we right. never caught this many fish. Who told you know. about uh, right. this fishing spot? Uh, D, D, Kira, whatever. What, what, uh, what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say that we have a, we got a raid forming right now, so I'm going to have to let you guys go. A what forming? A raid? a raid. He's got a raid. People, we're gonna go slay. Oh, see. Yeah, gonna see. Go he slay only had enough people. time to, to. He's got a raid for me. That sometimes takes hours to get a raid that was, together. That was, that was probably too much. <laughs> this, dude, let me tell you something. You're trying to coordinate 150 people in a raid, and these are all individuals all over the country, geeks from everywhere, in in a room somewhere to go in and slay this like dragon usually that has so much power and hit points that it can kill you. It's got something called like death touch. Where all of a sudden, 25 guys will be wiped out dead just in one wave of this thing's uh, wing or something. So you get this raid together, and it would take five hours sometimes to coordinate 150 people to what you're going to do. The raid goes in, 
and it's a wipe in about five minutes. Com- everyone's completely wiped out and dead. Ooh. And the rest of the night is trying to revive everybody. Whatever happened to this short attention span thing that these games were supposed to well, be? Well, some people that? have short attention spans, but people that do this cannot have. They are the ones that are the OCD people yeah. that are meticulous, that pound every day. Must go up another level. I'm level 15. Must reach 16 by tonight. Have to reach 17 by tomorrow. Have, I'll, be, I'll be in in a minute. I'm so close to so close to level 18, I gotta re- screw eating, screw sleeping, and it's just screw everything. my job. But you don't even understand. It's not screw eating, screw sleeping, screw your job. It's holy shit! I thought that was five minutes. It's been 12 hours yeah. that went by. You don't realize that much time went and then by. You're lucky enough to max out at like level 60, and all of a sudden, no, now it's level 70. expansion pack <laughs> comes <laughs> out. Now 70. level 75. You made it up to level 60. <laughs> oh, 75 tops now. Let's go to Jr. in Atlanta. They keep the crack coming. Jr. <laughs> What's up there, buddy? JR. I guess we lost No? Him. I guess Fortune Magazine was uh, talking about some of this stuff. Yeah. All right. Why don't yeah, we take a it's, break? It's, it's still very huge. I mean, uh, a lot of people are doing this. It's amazing. Um, yeah. we, could do, we could talk for the next hour on this. I mean, it's, uh, some guy sold his character here. Look, he's looking for $900 for uh, selling my time invested in account. That's how they have to sell him. You have to say my time invested because the account actually belongs to the company that runs the game, and it's illegal to do this. Uh, it's a level 70 bard with over 120. Um, these are extra uh, points that you're going to get. Yeah, he has 12,000 hit points and 10,000 mana unbuffed. That's his potential to do magic is measured in mana. He is track V and anguish flagged. Uh, which means he can get into certain uh, cool areas. He has his epic 2.0 weapon. Your epic weapons take months to get. Months to get. And uh, all the, he just spells it out. All of his spells, even ancient level 70s, he's not the original owner, so I cannot transfer him. I'm willing to show him to anyone interested in the game. Uh, this guy's selling it for uh, $900, he wants, for his time invested. And... He'll get it. You so, got to feel good about yourself when you lay out a thousand bucks and just come in and slaughter everybody with someone else's dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much. <laughs> no, you, See, Greg's on. Tony. You know what happens? <laughs> they get chastised. They get yelled at in rooms. Fucking noob with your eBay uh, character. <laughs> hey, we got a noob here with his eBay character. Do you guys try to gang up on those type of guys? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. In player versus player well, We could talk uh, about this rooms. all day, but uh, yeah. we'll move on. We'll move on. Greg Geraldo in the studio. We promoting anything, Greg? No. All right. No. Just trying to He's stay alive day to day. Very funny comedian. Very funny. And Absolutely. I'll ask one of these MySpace cyber fucking comics if they got anything to promote. And they don't. <laughs> but it, bad comics are always ready to fucking promote. Yeah. I got a bumper sticker. Well, I mean, I'm just really here. I got my new CD record release bumper <laughs> sticker bag of marbles promotion <laughs> yep. gimmick coming see up the, on Tuesday. <laughs> see the cynic? See the he oh, fucking... Yeah. This That's why we like him. This yeah. cocksucker will not join me. To, and this, he hates that shit, too. He refused, yeah. But some of them are his fans, so you don't want to... You know, Greg's a nice guy, but he yeah. fucking knows these clowns. He's being forced to 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 promote himself. Mm-hmm. I've been raped into coming into MySpace. <laughs> Friend yeah. requests, J- Jimmy Hats, fucking <laughs> with, Jimmy with, Hats. With I hear he's hysterical. R- Rocky the Squirrel as his face. And I have to go, yeah, sure, friend. I have 5,000. I want Rocky the fucking squirrel at my show. <laughs> Suck my balls. It is the worst. It is the worst thing right now. It really is. And yeah, we even got a MySpace. You got account. MySpace? I started doing it a couple weeks yeah. ago because you just have to. have to. There's no way you can fight it anymore. And nah, the reality is to. sometimes it's it's not a bad thing, you know. But but what's, what's fucked about it is that these guys who really are not good, and I don't mean just like the big famous guys with the huge MySpace accounts, but a lot of guys that you go on there and they have 13,000, 15,000, yeah. and they blow, but they're selling out. They're doing And it's almost becoming... Irrelevant whether you're good or not. Up yeah. to sixteen thousand friends. I'm I'm teetering on sixteen thousand. A lot of people um, write me, and I had a fun exchange with uh, a fan the other day. He wrote and said, "Hey asshole, nice background on your web page. Good idea. Um, light text on a gray background." <laughs> now, I, I I'm I'm pretty computer savvy. I do a little HTML programming, so I, I kind of got my MySpace looking nice. I got video on there and stuff, and nice background of one of my favorite video games, Half-Life. So I wrote him back. I go, hey, asshole, 
if you had a uh, connection worth of shit or a computer uh, that wasn't a piece of crap or you waited 10 seconds longer for the background to load, you'd have noticed I have a beautiful half-life background that works great with my text. <sighs> uh, I expect an apology. And he writes back, he goes, oh, nice background. So I wrote him back and went, um, I didn't see a sorry there. <laughs> and, he, and, and his answer to the whole thing was, Jesus Christ, I thought you said you never wrote back to any of the fans. <laughs> He's just aggravated yeah, now. That guy was pretty easily smacked down. Huh? Yeah, just <laughs> smacked him. Had low self-esteem in Magic World. Oh, yeah. smack a lot of these people. But you realize when you have so many people like that write you that they ask a lot of the same questions. Yeah. So I have uh, things in Notepad, cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. And people are like, dude. I so didn't expect you to just go on that long. Thanks for writing, man. <laughs> That's so cool of you. They do that with stand up all the time. These guys you get those guys like these open micers like, Hey, I'm I've done stand up once and you're one of my favorite comedians. I thought maybe you could spend six hours writing me an eight page document <laughs> yeah. on how to become what have you done for the last fourteen years? Well, young fella in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a cut and paste for just about every occasion. All I do is go, Hey Bob, cut paste. <laughs> I just say thanks, no matter no. what. No, see, I can't do hey, that. I love. I don't want people do. to think I'm not writing them back. I yeah. love everything you do. I put, uh, you know what? I, thanks, nigger, so they know oh, it's me. Oh, there you go. There you thanks, go. nigger. That's Patrice. <laughs> That's a, just Patrice. Thanks, fuckface. Yeah. And it just quick, just to let you know, it's it's really me, you. <laughs> so, a lot of people ask me about the. Uh, I have a video on on. Uh, my MySpace of me sitting at a webcam. That is and really then, creepy. And by then the way. I come in from behind me and look over my shoulder. It's it's another me coming in, and people want to know how I did it, the software I use. And for a while, I'm taking a half hour giving this guy a, a Premiere After Effects 8.0 lesson on how to uh, clone a, a person on on computer Nigga, software. Did you notice that Peter Jackson was in my top eight? I'm like, yeah, I know. It's called CGI. That was Andy. Serkis. This is how I did it. I filmed He's myself in front of, front of a green screen. <laughs> Not a uh, fake I, friend like you have. He's sent, actually a friend of mine. Sent the video off to uh, Industrial Lights and Magic. <laughs> yeah. They then. So I, I put the whole thing in a cut and paste, and I did that. And I have a lot of people go, dude, thanks for taking the time. And I wrote to one guy and said, don't feel so special. I go, I cut and paste that to about a thousand people. And uh, I said, but you can feel better because what I'm writing you right now is Off not cut and paste. <laughs> but I'm going to have to start cutting and pasting that when right. people assume that I'm writing We should them. take a break. Greg Geraldo in uh, studio. We do have a MySpace account officially for the radio show, yeah. Opie and Anthony. Yeah. How many fans? Did you, yeah, you beat Dane Cook yet? We officially no. just started up, I don't know, a couple <coughs> thousand. How I mean, many Anthony's got his own account that's what, you know, is doing real well. 15, but Norton's got 17 Fuck or something like that. I already, we got cannot... like, I already got six. I started yesterday. I've been trying to beat Norton. <laughs> Pussies. Really? Oh, fuck. I, my, the first 6,000 comes hey. fast, pally. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the next 11 is the hard uh, one. You hard one. 6,000? Something like that. Man. Something I think I have 700. Some stupid shit we like got uh, 2,500. And then it's we're like, I'll throw your bone. Hey, Patrice, I'll put you in my top eight. I'll help you out. <laughs> All right, listen. W when we get back, we're going to do news teases. Nice. I think uh, you'll have fun with this, uh, Greg Geraldo. More fear. We hate fear mongering. We hate the news tease, and every once in a while we take a look at all the crazy news teases they have out there to make you watch their dumb <laughs> news program. <laughs> at this point, we have no comments. Don't even ask. Cannot no comment. Cannot comment. More info to come. We're back with the Opie and Anthony program. Greg Giraldo in studio today. Patrice O'Neill filling in for Jim Norton, doing a great job for us. Thank you, Patrice. Thank you. I don't want anything. I'm just giving you props. I didn't say anything. Don't be all suspicious. I'm just giving you a compliment. I'm just saying uh, thank you. I'm looking and at I'll this give you a compliment box, when I'm we're just saying thanks. <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay. I, I thought you were so giving me the like. No. I'm just saying. I'll, I'll compliment you when we're not on the air. And I think I'm going to do the show with you tomorrow night when you do that, your little relationship oh. show. That's, that's very nice of you, man. I ain't talking. I'll just hang and uh, laugh at work, you. Be the board op. Oh, I'm going to board up and I'll uh, I'll jump in a little bit. How's that? Yeah, hey, man, you the one that fucking gave me the opportunity, the benefit. I have to fucking actually say, Opie's yeah, the one that said, hey, maybe you should do that. Yeah. All right. Fucking fair enough. But, uh, uh, you know, I give you props. And I think our friendship is uh, starting to blossom a little probably bit. Probably almost. We're now text messaging each think, other. You know oh, what I think is nice. like our relationship is at the level of when a bee fucks the plant and then... Shits whatever he shits in the, in the air, yeah, and then hits the plant. We're the shit in the air before the plant. <laughs> wow, we're pre-pollination. Hey, that's a that's good sort of that's a sort of relationship uh, 
<laughs> metaphors that'll be flying around tomorrow. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> We're, You're at the bitch. stage where the snake yeah. <laughs> tell you bitch poisons the that she's the shit that fault. We're this close, <laughs> Patrice. We're this close to going to see a movie together. Wow. It's we just got to decide what movie we could see together. You can't get close to Patrice. Because I don't see those black him. movies. <laughs> you can't get close to Patrice. You start like you start thinking you're friends, and then he turns on you because he can't take the warning. You got <laughs> <laughs> <I'm the laughs> way. Way. That's, That's why, that's why like, I think this oh, might work. Be <laughs> <great>. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I couldn't be friends with Bob Kelly. He was dripping like desperation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, don't say that. Don't fucking say that. Oh, God damn. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You ever hear the Bob Kelly story? I'm hanging out with Norton and Bob Kelly at a Starbucks, and it was at the stage that Patrice and I are at, you know, we're feeling each other out like, maybe we could be friends. And I actually looked down at Starbucks. I go, dude, this is where it ends. I just, <laughs> I don't, I can't be a friend. Because oh, he's fat? And I meant it, too. No, I like, because he it. wants friendship from yeah, him. Yeah, He wants it so bad that it's like, ugh. <laughs> and I actually I told Bobby. him in a Starbucks a good guy. near uh, Jimmy's old joint. And he's like, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm yeah, we're perfectly just being honest. Both really Instead of us, like, walking around with this. <laughs> both really distant. <laughs> like, um, <clears throat> yes, Anthony, I'm sorry. Uh, the guy that was going to come in for the freak thing yeah. today for uh, American Mess. Yeah. He was going to stick things yeah, in yeah. his peeny hole. Yeah. Um, he's available on Pal Talk. Yes. On Cam. Oh. That, hey, he's doing what he wants to do. Yeah. We have nothing to do with it. Yeah. All right, that'll be the showstopper. The dude... That was going to come in and shove things in his pee hole. Uh, he was going to do it live in studio on a webcam, by the way, so the rest of the country could see. But yeah. well, for some reason, lawyers don't want us to do that. So now he's going to do the exact same thing, just from a different from location. From the comfort of his own home, uh. I guess. Uh, I'm having a lot of problems keeping, uh, keeping the camera going here. All right, it, why don't it, we... Uh, it's really shaky. Why don't we do some fine adjusting and see if we can get the Pal Talk camera yeah. all set and ready to go, and we'll do it before the show ends today, okay? Well, there's... But you uh, might want to head to the Pal Talk rooms. There's his cam. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. Tell him that uh, we're not ready yeah, for not, him yet. Not yet. We'll, we'll let you know. Uh, ben, what do you got? There's Ben's got a box. There's a package for you and Anthony here. Actually, uh, I'm playing along. I know exactly hey, what, what it is. Of course you know what it is. Oh, it's your Run and Fez t-shirt. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here you go, Patrice. They sent some for you. Oh, that's the pack. <laughs> hey, they're cool guys. <laughs> I, I, this not, has nothing to do with Ron and Fez's you know, oh, fucking t-shirt. Oh, and what is this? Holy crap! That Come smack, on. that that's smack it. had nothing to do with Ron. Look at what we get. Let, yeah, just two of them. Let's see. Let me just make sure. Just here, when ben. you were feeling good about yourself, Hold Patrice O'Neill, <laughs> you get a reality <laughs> check. Let's just. Oh. Here we go. And 4.45 in the morning. Okay. Enjoy. If these are not active, please call me. I can get uh, a done. Elo. Hey, Elo. Sorry, Logan. man. I, I, I listened to Carrie Underwood yesterday. She was great. I bought her <laughs> album. This She's is, great. Oh, my God. Would you wow. look at this? This is the next phase. This is what the satellite radio is. Satellite is, radio. Is now Here it is. Down to. Here it is. Uh, completely, uh, it's smaller than my BlackBerry. Uh, Here it is, uh, smaller than my BlackBerry. Completely portable, see. and this isn't one of those sham like fucking serious where thing. where you have to plug it in and download shit and then take it with you. Live Let programming. Here. I'm not gonna give it to you. Let me touch it. I don't have a brother here with a gun that like. Let uh, me friggin... touch it. This is fucking right. unbelievable. Did he not know I it was a? No did he not? Did not Elo the racist not know that it was a black man? In Let here me that tell you something. To to there Excel? are only two of these available uh, right now. Even Jimmy what? Norton didn't from, get one. From XM. From the There's XM only two. They, factory. They made two. They made two just for us. Really, just like the the two new. F 2007 Fords. They didn't I am so These are not signed. on the market yet. They're going to be not on, even the on the market in a couple yet. more They're weeks. in the studio. Take that back That's from Patrice. Right. <laughs> Take it back from him. Wow, this is... This, this is looks the, better yeah. than my phone. No this shit. is live satellite you get as you're walking around. No friggin' uh, download. And, and you can download. MP3s, live XM and MP3s. Here we go. There you go. The future kids. Catch up with this doggy. Burf, burf, burf. With their backpack, with their Apollo astronaut wear, <laughs> that that they gotta have wear to uh, to get live programming portable. Who we don't have it yet because uh, the technology isn't there, Robin. Uh, that's why we don't have the um, uh, portable uh, unit. No, the technology's out. It's just here, not over there. Hello. Uh, hello. 
hey, this is Ben. Uh, uh, Norton's going to be leaving for a couple of weeks. You want to come through? <laughs> um, <coughs> mm. uh, oh, yeah, damn. You're playing that uh, game? Yeah, damn. yeah, man. I'll come on through. Yeah, that Bob Kelly's not uh, a bad guy after all. Great. <laughs> 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 I would have loved to it? fucking have a goddamn we Mi-Fi. Gave, we gave you an XM, didn't we? Yeah, I got a whole. I got to wrap that around my neck <laughs> and stick my head out the window for that shit. To... <laughs> we'll, uh, you know, All right, we'll... phase one, you you got. We'll upgrade your XM. How's that sound? Yeah. We'll upgrade you. You'll you send me upgrade. the software and shit? We'll that is like, hot, though. I like that shit. You know what? I got, a, phone. I got a MiFi I don't need anymore. <laughs> yeah, just, throw, yeah. just throw it on the ground, and I'll crawl around in mouse traps to get it. Don't look how up. thin this thing is. No, it's fucked up. I love my MiFi to this day, and this thing just blows the MiFi away. Completely. No offense to the people at the, you know, wow. they've got the it MiFi looks like a out fucking, there. It looks like but a this phone. this thing is like, it, dude, I just, for the Pal Talk camera, I, I uh, held up my BlackBerry next to the new Helix. It, it's not even funny how much smaller it is than the BlackBerry. But it's heavy. It looks yeah. like a goddamn, uh... A trio or something. Looks like it's a computer. Smaller than a it's trio. smaller than a trio, my friend. Oh, look All right. At that. Oh, man. That it's is fucking great. nice. It is nice. The live, nice. live stuff is amazing. Cause they, they sent something from that other one, uh, the serious one for uh, that Pamela Anderson roast. They sent they gave us like yeah. a ton of subscriptions and everything. Yeah. But like when I read it, you got it, the download again. And who the hell is going to put that? I still, it's still sitting in a box in my house. Yeah, for some reason, they are t- trying to push to everybody that... That it's not available. You can't get like live satellite. Pro- right. And uh, the XM's had it with the MiFi, and that was just you know phase one. This right here, and where it's going to go from this, uh, it's just amazing how small this is. And you walk around live broadcast of satellite radio. How much no is it going to be? No restrictions. Huh? No. How much bullshit. is it going to be? You think it'll be up there at first, you know? But then the price. Four hundred, you think? Hey, they Maybe give it to me for free. I don't. I have no yeah. idea what the prices are. I was anything. wondering, so, fellas, is it possible I can take some of these tums home and? Ah, <laughs> uh, they're Jimmy's. Right. So listen, you know the little guy's got a sour stomach all the time. I want to thank Eric Logan for sending us the Helix. Elo. This is just like being paid what we're worth. Thank you. Yeah, thank that's you so it. much. Uh, this Elo. was. Was this a little uh, a little prize for us? Because we've been chirping, chirp, chirp. This is just, just like being paid what we're worth. Thank, thank you. you for the distraction, Elo. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be distracted for a day. <laughs> Thanks, Opie. I was actually enjoying feeling good for I a know, second. I, I know the corporate world. I know what they're up to. <laughs> They know we're not completely happy right now, so, well, make sure you send them up a Helix immediately. <laughs> That'll distract them, yeah, for a day, maybe a weekend. You All know right. what happens sometimes when... Um, when uh, you're hanging out, you got your, you got your chick, uh, you know, and another chick comes along, right, uh, and wants to uh, have sex with you. Uh, the chick that you're with is going to do a little something extra, right, to keep the other chick from getting too much of your attention. Well, the problem also. No comment on the rest. No comment. Well, the problem, though, is yeah. that we got two chicks. Yeah. And we don't live in Utah. Yeah. So it's like, how do you balance the two chicks? Well, the two chicks are kind of hot on each other. Could be a threesome. Right. Yeah. But you got to give each chick uh, individual attention. Each Uh-oh. chick Uh-oh. has to get equal attention. And you got to make sure that chick doesn't right. get pissed off at the other chick because you're right. paying attention too much to the, to, to, to the one chick. And not only that, your friends are you the chicks? really like your friends really we like said the no chick. Comment. This is the best we can are do today. Are you the chicks? Hold on, no. No, we're the dude. We're with the, the guy with the two chicks. <laughs> now look, <laughs> we're the dude with our the friends <laughs> really like the chick we've been with. Right. And they don't want this new chick to fuck up how cool this other chick is. Right. Uh oh. Right. Right. Oh uh, boy. Right. I don't like. So we can really say right now. Oh, this is this is a this is a sneaky no. white meeting. But what if no the, little? What if I'm, tra- I'm going to try to sneaky white this meeting. Is a sneaky but white what if the two chicks meeting, were the twins? <laughs> <laughs> two chicks are like twins. What? They can't. They're not twins, though. Yeah, I know that's they, the problem. They, like one chick likes one, one thing. One chick, I think. I think one chick's a little kinkier, a little dirtier yeah, than the other one. One chick likes to get down and dirty. Right. The other and, chick and is the a other, little more. And the other chick's kind of like a soccer mom. Because she's been raised in an uh, environment that she's had a lot of rules that she's <laughs> had to, um, you know, pay attention to. She has parents and stuff and that watch over her that make sure she's. Uh, uh, She's being the way she should be. The other chick, though, is just a slut. That's no one's right. looking after her. That's right. Could just fuck anytime she wants. You can pretty much do whatever you want with right. the one chick. So, but they, the two chicks, kind of <laughs> get along. Right. They are friends because of us. Uh-oh. They're they're getting along. Right. Because oh, there's shoot. a mutual interest. Uh, the guy. 
You had a guy. Yeah, of you course you had a guy. The one chick you're going to have to take out on a lot of dates. Yeah, yeah. A lot of dates. The other chick you can just bang on and then drop her off. Hold it. Drop now, one chick is even real, have to drop her off. One chick's really an attention, an attention whore. Right. She wants to monopolize a lot of time. Right. But the other chick uh, is a little more open. Eh, there's some appeal to the other it's chick. A lot of appeal and to the other. Both chicks know about each other. Oh yeah, oh, both yeah. chicks know about each other. Oh, they yeah. want to hook up and so do a threesome. The, so is the soccer mom willing to be a whore for the men that she likes? The soccer mom would like to be a whore, but the soccer mom has so much psychological baggage from its upbringing that it can't just be a whore. The soccer mom would love to be a whore if no one was looking. But she's trying yeah. to compete. <laughs> yeah. She's trying yeah. to compete with the whore. Not compete with the whore. Know that the whore has its, her role. Right, and and she wants to act with the whore. Why could there? Why can't there just be a whore and a, a, the nice girl in the threesome? You know, like so one lick your nipples and the other one is is just, just sucking, sucking your balls. Right, yeah. right, <laughs> exactly. And the one licking your nipples goes, "Wow, she's a real ball." And sucker. the best thing is, everyone wins in the relationship That's right. as long as you keep the chicks separate. So what's the yeah. as long as the two chicks so never chicks really gotta know that. Which one oh, is the know. problem? Huh? Who, which is the problem, the the whore or the soccer mom is fucking well, up the system? Well, there's issues with both of them. And who sent you to Helix, the whore or the soccer mom? <laughs> I, we love the whore. <laughs> we love our whore. <laughs> Sava, Sava, you right. slut. So, so we know let's who just, the fucking let's, whore let's is. Let's just put it this way. This Helix is a sex toy for the whore. <laughs> <laughs> but the nice girl really wants to... Get in bed with us, right? And, but the and, but nice girl, she just doesn't want to get it she's sloppy. L she's laying but you know down the rules. She will let yeah. you lick her asshole, but not fuck her in it. There's a lot of rules. There's a lot of things that the nice girl's laying down that sometimes us and the whore are going like, you know, Stop fucking up our shit. You know, we're having a good time in bed here. We want to invite you in for some fun, but if you keep with these rules. Uh, you're not coming into bed she'll with us. She'll suck your dick, but she won't spit on it. The, she'll, and, but she'll actually tell you that. The whore, yeah. the whore lives alone, by the way. Right. And uh, the soccer mom. Uh, there's, there's a lot of other girls around. Yeah, a lot of other girls around, and you know. A lot of other corporate bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> Look, we're trying yeah. here, okay? You fucking phony. <laughs> you don't really bug me. Put your innuendo. Oh, just wait. fucking tell oh, it. Oh, shit. Is. Oh, shit. E Look, E-Rock's running in and writing a note. This can't be good. Wait, you guys weren't, ta oh. weren't, you guys weren't really talking about two chicks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, E-Rock. What's the whore saying? <laughs> What's the whore saying? <laughs> Did the pimp call and say to shut the fuck up? <laughs> Yo, baby, you got to stop telling your business. Well, <laughs> this sucks. Ron in Vegas. Ron, what's up? Hey, good. They're doing the ball bag bit right now, man. Have the pets fucking unleash on these bastards. Uh, do you have a radio and you're listening to it? Can we get audio for Monday? Yes. Can you turn yes. It on? Is that possible? Unfortunately, I'm on my way to the courthouse as an attorney, right. not a defendant. Can, right. can we... Um, uh, yeah, listen in. Can we listen in a little bit? Hopefully someone's taping this and can send the tape in for us. I can't hear this one. Huh? Yeah. Is that it? Can huh? we get it? Or try to stream it? Greg, we did this crazy, crazy bit a couple weeks ago where we had guys come in and they got stung in the ball bag by real wasps, bees, <laughs> yellow jackets. Never been done on the radio before. And, uh, well, the rest of the radio has decided it was such a great bit. They need they to do, do it, it immediately. Yeah, that's what happens. And it's really frustrating. Don't, don't, don't un just, it. just keep it warm, yeah, okay? Keep it in the stable. Okay? Keep, no. the, <laughs> keep the horse in the stable. Yeah. Why? Time to drop trowel, man. Okay, oh, man. show everybody. Time, okay. time to drop trowel. You know, that's just going to drive me nuts. <laughs> Hopefully, we, someone get the audio and we'll play ah, it on Monday. These people are hysterical. Why? It's kind of amazing. There's how already that a huge backlash. Dude, because, like, in comedy, you guys really take your, your shit seriously. And, and believe it or not, there are radio guys out here that take their shit seriously. We're not going to play the Howard game where, you know, he invented everything. But the, there's guys like Ant and I, and, and there's a bunch of others out there that do original, creative bits, and, and you're proud of it. And then you, you know, you turn on a radio in, in Vegas, and these guys are just blatantly taking your bit, and they have no shame whatsoever. And no one in Vegas knows where they got it from. It is yeah, so frustrating. Did you imagine the balls to just sit there and think, "I'm just gonna steal this"? Right. In, in the comedy world, you guys really, you know, beat up the guys that do that. No. 
Yeah. Yes, you do. For the most part, you do. <laughs> no. No. I've talked to other guys, and you guys are dead serious about other people taking your shit, and, N- and you let no. other people know. Fucking absolutely not. Does it go on as much anymore? I, I don't it, even they, pay yeah, attention. Yeah, it goes on so much that you don't even know. No one even cares anymore. Like, n- oh, it's man, like that's... why even? Like, like it's the same thing. What you're saying is like you got no time to get mad at everybody who fucking. You know, because people go, well, it's t- it's too easy to say, no, I invented it. Right, right. But you made a point yesterday that summed it up, which is, we didn't invent it, but we invented it recently. <laughs> well, like, we, we we did it. Like, I know some shit I do. Well, is that like, was the mousetrap thing. Someone said it. Well, the mousetrap thing. Point. We did a mousetrap bit, and we made it kind of our own. I, I, I would imagine some radio guy did some kind of mousetrap bit. Yeah. But we uh, threw our own spin it on it. It was spawned in originality. It wasn't right. spawned in... But the, in, uh, the bee sting thing, I mean, find me the tape. Find me the tape of someone doing that before. Jesus, people are pissed. Why? Because they really don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. And they're just, like, speculating and livid, and it's hysterical. We should have uh, some good info on Monday. Yeah, don't worry about it, people. All Please. they want to know is, who is this tight bitch who ain't giving up no good pussy? Don't worry. You know, people, don't worry so much. We know who the slut is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love our whore. <laughs> want to try some news teasers really fast? Yeah, news teasers. Uh, every, everywhere in the country, uh, the news is out of control. Fox News, CNN. Uh, they, they do their news teases. The locals are the worst. They try to scare the shit out of you with a little little blurb during Seinfeld or something. Trying to watch a show, have a little fun, and they're telling you your car can kill you, and they don't tell you what kind of car, no info. Uh, uh, is the food that your child eating deadly? We'll tell you later. Ha, ah, my kid's eating right now. Uh, I could be killing him. It's all fear to get you to tune in. You like this stuff, Greg? Yeah. Oh, I love yeah, these. I was, and especially when they get you at the end, and the answer is no. Is the yeah. drinking water killing your kids? And then at the end, they're like, no, no, no actually, it's not. No, it's, it's not. not. We <laughs> just need it. <laughs> yeah. Nuclear just, cloud moving into our area? Yeah. We'll let you know. No, no. No, we just need to watch longer because our ratings yeah. are now. That uh, is kind of amazing. They could tell you, if, if they did have information that something your kids could be eating could be killing them, yeah. and they wouldn't tell you right away. One so, thing I heard once it was a uh, Indian Point nuclear power plant leak. Are we in? Are you in danger? We'll let you know. And they did the news, and it turned out that it was a leak from a water cooling system on the generator itself. Had nothing to do with nucleus. It's like Bob left his hose spigot on our back. Yeah. Can it kill you? It was that, like, dangerous. There was you know, no some, Somehow we, we've started assuming that the news is supposed to be uh, providing a service. But it's just, no. it's just entertainment like anything else. Business and entertainment, but ratings, they they, money. They're not willing to tell us that right. yet. That's yep. the problem, you know? Uh, the the best is when they uh, involve the kids too. Yeah, is always your, is scary your about kid the kids. playing so with a dangerous children, toy. Your... Yeah. <laughs> we'll tell you at eleven. Are your kids in danger? <laughs> oh well, thanks. Yes. It'll be so easy to make um, make my kids not play with toys for the next seven hours. Thanks, <laughs> right. thanks a lot, Dick. So you can sell some more shampoo. Yeah. All right, here we go. So, uh, the latest news teases. The first two are not that bad, and they get pretty ridiculous. All right, we like that. Plus, the billboards say everybody does it. But is it safe to bet what you need to know about wagering on the Super Bowl and if you could get busted, too? And it's an ingredient that gives many ethnic foods their taste. What spice may help fight cancer? You know, <laughs> it's, it's a fucking quiz show. You know, the news has turned into a quiz show. Uh, what is paprika? Uh, what is cumin for 400? Uh, oh, damn it. I, I hope it's curry, man. Uh, uh, man, I hope it's I'll, curry. I'll take coriander for six. <laughs> they, they can't even leave our Super Bowl alone. Even people that have no uh. desire to bet will bet on this stupid Super Bowl. And now they're trying to convince you that you might get caught. Um, uh... Uh, curry. Oh, <laughs> shit. Damn it. What liquid from a cow can kill you? Oh, shit. Milk? Uh, no, sorry, that's uh, oh, cow Come on, come on. Uh, what spice? What spice? Uh, uh, is it uh, all spice? Ah, shit. Sorry, that's uh, saffron. We were looking for saffron. Damn it. Saffron. It's, oh. uh, isn't this the news? Hey, by the way, <laughs> does anyone know the answer to the spice? Because it was indeed curry. Oh, oh there you go. Curry. Yeah, good. cancer. I'm Thank sure. you, Danny. Yeah, I'm sure it does. How, of... how much curry do you have to eat before it, it fights the actual cancer? You shit it out. You you to, just... there's, no, there's no cancer You have cancer to live in, in a India. silo of yeah. fucking curry. To, you drink curry juice and you get the effects. You shit the cancer. <laughs> you shit the Give cancer. me some curry right. juice. <laughs> shit it out. Here's the next. Uh... Dipper, dipper, shit out the comms, sir. Here's the next news tease. 
Still ahead on Fox 5 News at 10, a massive online identity theft ring broken. Did they steal your credit card number, how they did it, and what you can do to protect yourself? Oh, what? Uh, There's too much info there. <laughs> that keeps that everyone one, involved. That one was complicated because it had questions, and then it also had like little... Uh... Did they get my number? Am I safe? Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. I hope they didn't. <laughs> Let's go to Rich in Vegas. Rich? Oh. Yeah, buddy, what's happening? Hey. Listen, just wanted to you know, let you know the virus worked, bud. The bees are dead. Complete failure. These jack-offs. The bit completely failed, so they can't even rip off the bit the right way. They can't do it. Fucking assholes. Nah, the virus worked. I hope the pests uh, get at uh, those guys at KOMP in Vegas. Thanks, Rich. You got it, pal. Well, that's good you news. Got but then, of course, they'll try again. Yeah. All right, um, let's move on to the, to the next news tease here. Colds and the flu, they can knock you out. <laughs> but these products promise to beat the bugs. It helps with my immune system. This is a wonderful, wonderful product. What makes them so effective and who shouldn't take them? Great. Oh, oh great. See, here's something really good, really good, really good. Some people shouldn't take yeah. it. Great. They even have to scare you with the good news. Great. It's not smoking or drinking or even illegal drugs. We'll tell you what teens are doing at an alarming high rate and what parents oh. should look out for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to eliminate some things. They, in the time he told you what it isn't, couldn't he told you what it is? Yeah. He told you three things that it isn't. What is it? So you know your kids aren't drinking or smoking. Because if a, a parent heard that, he would think, you know, something your teens are doing could hurt them. Oh, it's probably smoking or drinking or something like that. Uh, no, no, it's yeah. not those things. <laughs> don't that, think you could guess us, people. It's not that regular shit you, yeah. you yeah. don't know about. Uh, uh, no. Jerking off. Yeah. It's uh, Was it the choking game? Probably the choking game. Honestly, right. this one, I, I was, this was it's uh, pulled be, before I was pulling asses a, as well, I know. It's got to be the choking game. Yeah, I think it is. That's all the rage with the kids. kids don't remember I story. love all the choking game. What, asphyxiation yeah. and jerking off? Yeah, they're like choking each other out. And then it's kind of fun. Out, it gives you a buzz. Gets a quick buzz, and then yeah. you're supposed to wake up. But every once in a while, you don't. Sometimes <laughs> you die. Whatever. It's called thinning the herd. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Not all the baby turtles make it to the ocean. And you know, <laughs> and you know niggas ain't doing that shit. Yo, Troy, nigga, choke me, son. <laughs> yo, yo, motherfucker, just choke my shit till I pass out, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys want to hear about hazardous furniture? Let's go. What? <laughs> Here we go. A Long Island family comes home to a horrible discovery. We will open the door and fumes just like, oh my God, like knocked us back. What happened to their house that turned their furniture into a hazardous material? <laughs> it, turned, it turned their furniture it turned into a hazardous into, material. It, like it was just furniture. <laughs> and something happened. It became hazardous material. Hazardous material. How does that happen? I have the answer for this one, so. Oh, you, you do? When you guys are ready. All right, let me think. <laughs> Thermonuclear could, fusion. Yeah, what could possibly turn your furniture into a hazardous... I'm going to guess some it kind can't of be swamp simple. monster. It can't uh, be so simple as to involve the fire. Door. No, no fire no was involved. No fire. Oh, you know, it could have been, it could have been uh, Jesus. Jesus. It was an asbestos lamp. It turn was. their furniture <laughs> into hazardous material. <laughs> I can't even... Okay, all right. Was, it, was the furniture cleaned? No, no. Fuck. Is it mold? No, it is not mold. It's not is mold. It, is it? <laughs> this is fun. What yeah, is, is it? Uh, what could possibly turn your furniture into uh, some kind of hazardous material? A pet peeing on it? Nope. That's really bad. Um, sun. The nope. S nope. No. Oh, but you, you paused. That was good. That was no. Good. no, 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 no. Nothing mm. to do with that. Uh, no, 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 no. Some type of, did it involve someone else coming into the house? Almost, sort of. Kind of, in a, in a weird way. In a weird way. Something? Yes. An animal? No. <laughs> All right. Um, radon gas? No. No. What the hell? I know, it's Something, a tough one. someone. It wasn't cigarette smoke or anything like that. No. Nothing Was it violent. someone cleaning the furniture? No, no cleaning. No cleaning no involved. No cleaning involved. This is just boggling my mind. Yeah, it's tricky. ridiculous. When you hear the answer, it's like the stupidest thing. Hazardous. Right, we're ready. All right. Danny, what is Basically, it? Basically, this home had a oil valve that just didn't go anywhere, 
And when they called for their oil delivery, the guy went to the wrong valve and just pumped gallons upon gallons of pure, you know, heating oil, heating oil. into their basement. Into their and basement. And it was because it was just a pipe. They showed you, on, you know, on the screen. It was a pipe that just went nowhere. It just went a, into the basement life, and then stopped. That's a once yeah, in a lifetime a thing. It's, it's an epidemic. <laughs> yeah, really? It's like a <laughs> Who is that it's actually happen happening to you? To you. <laughs> <laughs> And what's the stupid oil guy just pumping? <laughs> what is a big tank? I think this guy's got a 50 billion gallon oil tank. They did the news tease just so motherfuckers who live in three, four walk-ups can still listen about what the fuck's going on. Yeah, uh, and how did that involve furniture? Because they, uh, it was like a finished basement. So all this, oh, all, okay. <laughs> so all the furniture. Oh all right. And also, that, too that's bad. Gotta, like, it didn't, the problem's not that it, it turned their furniture into hazardous material. It's, no. It's buried. And, and what their furniture, evil. it's, it's. Yeah, the oil on the floor <laughs> is the hazard, so it's not the fact that. Ugh. that oh my worst. God! Those Don't idiots. pour and skunk juice on the couch. And that was New York too, right? Yeah, that was, yeah, from, that was from definitely Long Island. Island. Yeah, uh, yeah there's nothing else happening in the world we need to worry about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's get to the next news tease here. Jesus. You heat, you stir. Could this leave something sinister behind in your body? There's a lot of things that you buy that you don't really suspect that have these things in it. Environmentalists say there's a hidden danger in pots, pans, and even clothes you use every day. Once it's in our blood, it never breaks down. Are they right? Stirring up trouble. Tuesday on the 10 o'clock news. Stirring up trouble. Stirring Stirring up up trouble. trouble. Pork Mm. shampoo. Is it pot luck what you're putting inside your body? Yeah, that's stirring up trouble. Yeah, that's so much more dangerous than oh. the the greasy mess you're making in that pot. <laughs> that <laughs> makes is cooking turning the danger up to high? <laughs> <laughs> they always gotta tie it in with yeah. some bullshit. Yeah. Oh, you'll be broiling mad when you hear this cooking story. <laughs> All right, we get it, idiot. <laughs> Oh, the geez. worst thing is that some of these things really are kind of creepy, the chemical stuff. But but they it's not, they're not trying to get any attention and really get things changed. It's just freaking no. you out. Yeah. It's just trying to freak you out and make it seem like it's having uh, happening everywhere to everybody. Very scary, ominous music behind that yeah. one too. It's a movie trailer. It's something. All right, let's go to the next one here. The answer to a dieter's prayers, a pill that lets you eat what you want but, and not pack but, on the pounds. But, and you could soon get it over the counter. An important warning and the one serious side effect you should know about. <laughs> great, thanks. AIDS. <laughs> right, thanks. Doesn't this sound all great? Oh, pill? Weight loss? What's your... Oh, God, I knew it. Well, You've got to be a hidden danger. Well, we, we got the commercial weight. for the uh, the pill, actually. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, we got it right here. Good. You can Let's lose weight, but it. you shit your stomach out. I was overweight and embarrassed to go any place. AIDS helped me get back into a size 12. Oh, the AIDS diet plan helped me get back into a size 6. AIDS helps control your appetite so you lose weight, yet AIDS lets you taste, chew, and enjoy. And the appetite suppressant in AIDS is not a stimulant. It helped me lose the weight and has nothing in it that could make me nervous. Question, why take diet pills when you can enjoy AIDS? <laughs> AIDS helps you lose weight safely and effectively. Use only as directed. Uh, Robert Reed used AIDS to lose weight. <laughs> Celebrity oh, endorsement. Man. How, how bad was that oh, the, like naming shit. decision by that company? Whoops. <sighs> Look, it's with a Y, okay? Yeah. Nah, sorry. No, but you know, that, that, was, that commercial was pre-AIDS. Yeah, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, you know, it was like, oh, that's a real commercial? Yeah, yeah, that was for... <laughs> that was a real yeah. commercial in There were these chocolate appetite suppressants named AYDS. Mm. They were AIDS. It was the AIDS oh, diet plan. You take this chocolate and it would ruin your appetite. And, uh, boy, it sure shot the shit out of that. <laughs> you think back in, like, uh, there was a guy with a covered wagon with an elixir. Here, take cancer. Yeah. <laughs> cancer cures everything. And then all of a sudden he's like, fuck, man. Why'd you name it that? Uh, that was we a got, bad call. We, the, the, the focus group. We got a lot of names. Uh, one, uh, okay, who, who, who chooses AIDS? Raise your hand. I love it. Who chooses Weight loss pills, take them now. Oh, ah, that fucking sucks. <laughs> AIDS, it aids you in diet. It's a diet aid. Why not just call it AIDS? That's wonderful. Hey, uh, speaking of the pill, what's the side effect on the uh, the real pill? Oh, what was it? The, the world pill. will never know because... Uh, again... <laughs> it was one I pulled before no, you guys wanted no. the answers for. Were, well, it fits much better with the answers. Where yeah, just yeah we out. like the I don't, answers, uh, Every Danny. one that I pull from this point on will answers, we'll have answers. Danny, answers. Answers. What right. a fun show today.
was definitely it enjoyable. It went very quickly, and now it's uh, just Hey, what happened over. to the guy with the stuff in the pee hole? Uh, Pal Talk was screwing up so badly, we'll probably wind up doing that next week. Can the guy wait till Monday, or is he going to do it? it? Was, uh, He'll do it for everybody over the weekend, but he's got to do it for the radio yeah, audience Yeah, do it Monday. for everybody else. Uh, feel free, and then and we'll have him on. Is that him? Ah, 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 ow, ow, there you ow, go. okay, he's doing it. There Holy you go. Holy shit, it. There you go. What is he shoving in his pee hole? A thermometer. That's a. It's one of those thick. Oh my god. Thermometers. Oh, he gets himself all worked up. What is that? Well, what is that? This uh, is a, a screwdriver. A screwdriver. Oh, completely oh, in his pee hole. No. <laughs> what a way to end another great week of broadcasting. Oh, oh. Ow. Ow. Why do you do that? Thank you, Marconi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Greg Geraldo, do you what have anything that? to promote? It's a nail. No, man. Uh, well, just a Friday night uh, <laughs> stand-up show. Okay. Comedy Central oh, starting in uh, April. Cool. Well, we'll have you back ah, yes, before that. Damn. Cool. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a nail. That's a thick nail. Oh, Patrice O'Neill, thank you so much. Oh. We'll see you tomorrow night. Program complete.